Stiamo arrivando alla parte dei progetti internazionali, innovativi, tecnologici per risolvere il Covid. Lancio il video che ci introduce a questa seconda fase di progetti innovativi. Startups for the future, appunto la seconda parte, abbiamo sei progetti da tutto il mondo. Io direi di chiamare subito il primo, the first project from Denmark, Eric Ledgard. Hi Eric. Okay. Hi, how are you? Fine, you? I'm great. Nice evening in Denmark and I'm ready to tell you a bit about what we're doing up here. Okay. Yeah, good to go? You can, yes. You can go. Three minutes from now. Okay. So I would like to tell you about how we uh, do telehealth in Denmark, how we can increase capacity of the healthcare system and help bring it into focus that they are very pressed so we can flatten the curve. And also how we can reduce risk with remote screening and remote monitoring in particular. So let me tell you about remote patient monitoring in Denmark. We have been doing this for COPD patients with pulmonary patients for more than six years. We have been doing this on the cloud for many years now, and we have uh, deployment installations in many countries in the EU, so we know a lot about this. We are medical-grade software, so we have been around for some years, and we know exactly what this is all about. So we have already proven that we can save up to 35% of the healthcare costs in the healthcare system, so there can be no discussion that our platform is operational and work. But we are not here to save money, we have to save lives. So having a platform, we have did a configuration of our platform and made it into a COVID-19 application uh, in less than four days. So now it is a fully fledged COVID-19 application for home monitoring to address the millions of people who are sitting in their homes and maybe have symptoms, but they don't know who is keeping an eye on them. And this is the way to do this. So the, the thing we are putting on here is an anonymous screening, and this is, uh, is coupled with the real-time statistics. So every time someone do a screening, we update the real-time graph so you can see exactly how the screening is going in real time. If you are actually qualified to sign on because you have symptoms, which means you have a red or yellow arrow, we will sign you in in the system and you will enroll in monitoring. You will have the web app and you will monitor your, your symptoms twice a day. And we will show you also real time how the statistics are developing. So all the hundreds of thousands of people that are using this will, this will add to this, the real time statistics and help us see what's going on. And then the nurses will look at the data and if they actually have one data from a person that is flagging with highest fever and symptoms, then they have an intervention alert, which means that on the onboarding and the enrollment and the monitoring, it is only when actual patients have an alert that they will activate the nurse in the call center who will reach out and find out how we can do this. Having done this for many years and optimizing the software, we know already that 200 nurses will be able to monitor 100,000 people in their homes. And now when we are reopening and trying to get back into normal life, it is imperative that we can offer monitoring and, and safety and comfort to those who, who walk in their home and are insecure, and also to be able to offer the healthcare system some kind of information about how the population is doing. And this is operational online and has been running for more than six years. So it is solid and we know that it works. The system is automated, so we, so we start people up, we onboard them, put them through the process, and if only if they have a red alert do we actually activate the nurses, which means that this is a fully operational, full automated system that requires a minimum of effort from the medical staff. Fantastic project, good luck for Open Telehealth, and now we have the next Thank project. You. Thank you, bye Eric. The next, the second project, is from Israel. Hi, Mike. Do you Are listen? we starting with the video? The next revolution in fitness arrives to your home, enabling you to get the most out of your workout. Introducing Kemtai, the first virtual fitness trainer on your personal device that can actually see you. Thanks to its advanced vision technology, Kemtai scans your body. Are you ready? Let's start. And analyze its movements with maximum accuracy. Go lower. It tracks your body's position as you exercise. Just a little bit more. Guides you. Good. Now keep your back straight. 
and gives you feedback and scoring in real time. Great, you got it. Just like a real personal trainer, Kimtai adapts to you and updates your exercises as you advance and improve. Great job, that's even better than last time. When you're done, you can share your score with friends. Kimtai, effective, engaging, fun, and all in your own space. Get fit, get Kimtai. Okay, perfect, thank you uh, very much. So obviously, when we developed Kimtai, uh, we focused on home fitness before we knew we will have anything like Corona. But home fitness is always important because people want to be able to work out at home. And as you've seen in the video, Kimtai provides a way to work out at home, but also get real-time feedback, just like a personal trainer was right there with you. Kimtai uses uh, advanced technologies, mainly around uh, computer vision and AI. Uh, but does not require any special devices. So you can run it on your own laptop. And you feel like an AI trainer, like a virtual trainer is actually guiding you through the workout. You choose a workout, uh, you start doing the exercises and the software tells you what you're doing wrong and makes sure that you're doing it better. You also see real-time scoring so that you can have an idea if you're improving compared to your previous uh, workouts. Nowadays with Corona, uh, everybody's stuck at home uh, in Italy, in Israel, in the U.S., everywhere. Uh, and it's especially important, not just for health, but for mental health, to be able to exercise. And instead of just using a simple video with Kemtai, you choose the workout and the trainer that you want. But then as you start working out, as you've seen in the video, the system actually sees your body, sees your movements, and then can understand what you're doing right and what you're doing wrong and provide real-time feedback just like you had a personal trainer at home. Um, so as you're working out, you're getting immediate feedback. It's a lot more fun. And the workout itself is more effective. So whether you have 20 minutes after the kids go to sleep, or if you have half an hour, uh, the workout itself is a, a lot better and a lot more effective. Um, our technology also enables different personal trainers to upload their video exercises and create their own workouts. We're actually having a lot of trainers join the system now. Uh, uh, some of them from Italy as well. We actually have a lot of users in Italy uh, and trainers can put their own workouts and that gives them a way now that it's very hard for them to make a living. This gives them a way to connect with their users to provide them personalized workouts and the user at home still gets all the immediate feedback that he would uh, in normal days. Uh, so just to, to summarize, uh, we're leveraging edge computing, uh, providing advanced computer vision on your laptop. So the user at home, you want to stay fit, you want to stay healthy, you want to stay sane. Uh, you don't need any special hardware. This runs, runs on your laptop, in your browser. And best of all, it's free, not just now because of Corona. We always want to have a free version and a paid version. And right now, all we have is free for you to enjoy uh, in uh, app com. you just browse to this address, log into the system and uh, start working out. So I hope you can all enjoy this and stay fit at home. Thank you, Mike. My Thank pleasure. You. Ora passiamo al terzo progetto. You have three okay. minutes from now. Okay. Do not lose contact with a doctor, whatever happens, an epidemic, remoteness difficulties problems in healthcare and in this corona situations are the doctors who are based in major city areas without medical coverage increased number of patients with chronic disease pandemic situation need for new access need for personalized health care and solution is we see it by telemedicine, which protects the health uh, when screening for infections, disease, only possible access for remote areas, equal access to health, ongoing contact with the attending physician and avoidance of travel, new type essential health services, and with big social importance and new communication approach. Telemedicine products and services by NICOMS. Telemedicine platform named Medcare, personal health record, diagnostic, medical care case, and telemedicine station. Works on every device, need only internet. Medcare telemedicine platform. Online audio, video, medical consultation, payment processor, share option, schedule option, data from diagnostic devices, electronic prescriptions, and many more.
Personal health record, health status and medical history, lists and alarms for medicine taken, data from diagnostic medical devices, patients provide and restrict the access, gamification, sport activities, wearable smart devices and more. Medical diagnostic carry case, measurement of vital signs using wireless medical devices, online consultations, more than 10 integrated devices, and it's customizable. Mobile unit eliminates the problem of poor equipment or a complete lack of such, suitable for telemedicine and more, fully autonomous and ready for use in seconds. And what are telemedicine use cases? Medical practice at any time from individual physicians to hospitals, equal access to healthcare from remote areas, hospital network and new health services. Real power of NICOMS is that there are real working solutions, gradual upgrading and innovative service, no geographical limitations and worldwide implementation, sustainable innovation based on flexible business models, whose ecosystem or uh, whole ecosystem or single use of any product, and digital service with 360 approach to clients. The company, company's missions and long-term goal is to put technology at the service of the community. Because while technology is important, it's what we do with it that really matters. Thank you. Ora il prossimo progetto arriva da da Sofia. Hello Cristina. Hi, it's fantastic to see you. I am Cristina Iskenazi and I'm here to represent you the Bulgarian uh, biotech company Micar 21. Uh, the major focus of NICAR 21 is connected to chronic and incurable disease. The platform discovered first in class small molecules that covered 5 trillion euros economic uh, healthcare costs. NICAR 21 technology is validated by worldwide scientific reports and journals with high impact that uh, are pointing uh, the company as structure based in silico drug design that having 18 novel small molecules in seven therapeutic areas. NICAR 21 is included into worldwide analytics reports as in silico drug discovery company. We are covering the process uh, from scratch to a preclinical phase that include target validation, hit to lead, and lead optimization. We are shortage the process from usual 18 months up to uh, four to eight weeks from scratch to preclinical phase that make us a company that is reducing the process time up to 70 percentage, reducing the R&D cost and improving the uh, quality of the molecules. Uh, we have a business model that uh, discovering and developing of a novel drug candidate from scratch to preclinical and founding a new spin-off companies. Here you can see some of our pipelines and um, uh, molecules that we already have, uh, such as for chronic pain, alcoholism, pancreatic cancer, etc. Um, Micar21 is one of the founders of um, uh, Health and Life Science Cluster in Bulgaria and having a huge external strategic partners. Uh, only for two years, uh, we uh, have uh, uh, seven awards from um, uh, President of Bulgaria, from Ministry of Economics, etc. Here you can see some of our core team and our spin-off companies. According to COVID, we're having a product called Enzyme 2, who is a, a novel drug molecule for treatment of COVID-19 and coronaviruses by using the first class LT2 and CCR7. We are looking right now for funding, as you can see. Uh, if we have more time or uh, if there is an interest, if we can share more about our technology core. And this is the three-way approaches that uh, we are using for uh, finding uh, treatment for COVID. So thank you for your attention. Thank you, Christina, for your thank project. You. Good luck and see you at the next WMF. Now the, the last project from Israel, Eran Ovir. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. My name is Eran. I am the CEO and co-founder of uh, Somatics. Uh, we are based in Israel and in New York City. Uh, Somatics is doing remote patient monitoring. We are working with three verticals. We work with uh, elderly care facilities across the care continuum, independent living, assisted living, subacute short-term care, and nursing homes. We work with uh, hospitals for the use case of uh, remote patient monitoring of discharge patients. And we work with drug and alcohol rehab centers. 
our system is based on the technology that we developed in which we take the raw data from sensors that exist on many different types of uh, wearables or our own smart band. And we analyze in real time the three-dimensional vectors that represent the movement of the hand. And we can tell what is it that the person is doing. And by that, we provide a continuous monitoring, telling the caregivers what the person is doing and providing alerts, insights, reminders, and, uh, and uh, predictive analytics. The system has four components. Uh, we have a dashboard, a web terminal uh, dashboard. We have a caregiver app. It's like a mobile dashboard with, where basically the, the uh, nurses and the aides can see what's happening with the, uh, uh, with the monitored patients. We have a user app in which the, user can, uh, the users can see for themselves uh, what's happening and can call for help or uh, uh, do other things. And we have our own band uh, that is being used by most of our users because it's a very lightweight band. It uh, lasts up to six days in terms of charging it's waterproof, you can shower with it, and so on. Now, as part of the COVID-19 response, uh, we are working currently with nursing homes and with hospitals where we provide their quarantined patients and isolated, uh, some of them are already working in a lockdown mode and they have quarantined patients and they have isolated uh, residents, for example, at elderly care facilities, and we provide them remote monitoring so that their teams could stay safe and those people won't have to come into the clinic and could be remote, uh, remotely monitored for their health. So this is Somatics. We would love to, you know, to be in touch with you. That's, our, uh, that's the email address where you can uh, contact us. It's all, it could all be remotely deployed. So within 24 hours, we can remotely deploy the system for you. It's all cloud-based. Thank you, Aaron. Good luck. And Also with you, see you at the next WMF. Thank you. Allora, abbiamo visto questi progetti eh, innovativi internazionali da più paesi. Li racconteremo anche prossimamente, li approfondiremo sui canali del festival e saranno con noi anche al prossimo eh, WMF. Mm -hmm.